Welcome to Board Game Archaeology, where we play time-worn games from the past. I'm Hunter. I'm Rob. And today, we're playing Barrel of Monkeys. Barrel of Monkeys. Originally from 1961, the game was called Chimp to Chimp, and it was sold on a cart. In 1965, Lakeside Toys bought it, and then later Milton Bradley and Hasbro and everybody. But when they bought it, they made um, a cardboard uh, barrel for it and then later it became plastic it was a big brown one and that's the one I remember and then it came into this one and this is the same one from the 80s and 90s that um, these guys had when they were younger um, also in the barrel of monkeys things I found these rare giant jumbo monkeys yeah the objective of the game is to be the first player to 12 or to be like the fastest in getting that 12. Right, and it comes, each one, each set comes with 12 monkeys um, of, I think, red, well, in the in the first set, I think it was red, blue, and yellow. Um, but the, this thing can hold 24. And as you can tell, over the years, we've gotten multiples and multiples. So we have a lot more um, than normal sets. So the game basically starts with 12 monkeys, or you can put as many as you want in there. Because it's really about, you know, picking them up. But you got to have the exact same amount that each player would have. And, um, yeah, it's fun. I love the molding <laughs> of it. Yeah, this is something that I think almost everyone has had some experience with. And, you know, it, it's funny because although there are rules to it where, or, or kind of, you know, soft rules where it's just like, if you drop one in the process, then that's the end of your turn and stuff like that. But, like, I think most people kind of just played it with a very laissez-faire uh, attitude towards the game. I think it was... I don't even know if there was ever... We ever played a game of it. I think we yeah. just wanted to see how many we could get. Yeah. And we'd help each other almost every time because the bigger it was, the more exciting it was. Yeah, and just, like, even cooperating, kind of constructing a situation to make more of them. That's kind of more how I remembered them. I didn't even think of them as a game. Yeah, so you can play where you see how long you can make your string. You each get a turn, and you do it until the monkey falls, and you count those points. You can time yourself. You can go up to 12. You can almost create any rule you really wanted to with these. Yeah, and they're colorful. They're really simple. There's, there's, really, there's nothing that you can say that's wrong about the barrel of monkeys, I think. The hardest part for me is when they're laying flat and they're not like tipped on another one. It really gets hard to pick those ones up off the bottom. And this, like the second you drop it, you're done. But some of them are easier than other ones. But you keep going until you drop it. Um, the cool thing about having a lot of them is you can make a big stack and you can literally do the 12 fairly easily, I think. Yeah, because the more you have on top of it, just the more chaotic everything gets. And I think... That's just a lot of fun, and it's held up for a long time. It has, and it, they've looked the same for a long time, but there is newer sets with different sculpting on it. I know we have one at the school. I should have brought it home with me, but it has totally different sculpting on the monkey, which is kind of sad for me. I kind of like this because it looks exactly the same as it did when I was a little guy. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to know more about us, check us out on the web. You can also find us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.